You know, God loves to give me sermon illustrations when I prepare for certain messages. He did this this week. We're going to talk about faith this morning. Um, it'll move up there. We're going to talk we're out of Romans chapter 4, starting in verse 15. We're going to talk about what is saving faith. What is saving faith? And I took a trip to Phoenix this week. And as I was getting on the plane in Dallas, I went through the, the uh, place where you give them the boarding passes. And I, I'm usually one of the last ones to go through because I'm thinking, you know, why should I stand up there when I can sit down here? So I kind of let everybody else filter in. And then I'll hit in. So usually the plane's pretty loaded when I, when I get on. And when I went through the boarding pass, he put my boarding pass through this machine that took it in and took it out. When it took it in, it, it showed this big red block. And he looked at that and said, whoa, uh, can I see your ID, sir? So I gave him my ID, and he looked at it, looked at the ticket, got on his little computer. And he said, well, you are who you are, and that seat's supposed to be yours, but somebody else has come through and taken your seat. And he said, go back there and tell them to come off the plane. I said, well, why should I do that? This could be a big burly wrestler traveling to his next event. Well, I got on the plane, and it was a loaded, it was a packed plane going from Dallas to Phoenix. And as I walked back, you know, I was at the back of the plane. And I got to about three rows in the back, and I could see that every seat was full. So surely that person was in my seat. And as I got closer, I could see that the person in my seat was a lady about 60 years of age, and she was getting all of her things together. And I was feeling more and more guilty as I was getting closer. And a stewardess was right there, so I said to the flight attendant, was right there, and so I mentioned that, uh, well, this is what they told me up there, and yes, there's somebody in my seat. And she was like, oh, somebody's in your seat. That, that doesn't happen. And so they began to speak to the lady. And, of course, everybody else around hears it. And I'm becoming the villain by the moment. <laughs> Who is this guy throwing this lady out? And she said, well, I've got this ticket. It's 30E, and this is the ticket. I've got it. And this is supposed to be my seat. And, and you know, I can see people glaring at me. And I'm, I'm thinking, I'm, I'll sit anywhere. I'll sit with the pilots. I'll sit in the, I mean, there's a bathroom right there. I'll sit in there all the whole way. I don't care. I don't want to cause problems for her. Well, anyway, that stewardess got on the phone and called up to the, to the guy outside and started talking to her. And the lady was thinking, well, I, this is supposed to be my seat. And she's getting all of her things together, getting kicked out of her seat. And then the, the uh, flight attendant comes back and says, are you sure you're on this flight to Phoenix? She says, Phoenix? I'm going to Florida. <laughs> So all of a sudden, I'm a hero. <laughs> this is a, she, got in, she went in gate 37 instead of gate 36. And she just happened, by the luck of the draw, to have my same seat. What a horrible thing. To, you know, some people, their faith ends up misplaced. What the horrible realization of it really being an expensive decision to make wrong. And when, you, when we're going to talk about faith in God and faith in, in what pleases God, and the Jews mistakenly thought that works righteousness, that you had faith in your works, that you did certain types of works. And Paul is, is speaking to us in Romans chapter 4, telling us that it's not about works. It's about faith and believing God. God has spoken. God has revealed his will. And our response to that is what determines God's ple pleasure with us. 